Hi, and welcome to Edge Technologies. My name is John, and today we're gonna to teach you how to remove a guy channel set and bar from a Patriot 338. The tools you will need are a three, five, and 10 millimeter hex Allen wrench. For safety, we have a pair of gloves and safety glasses for protection. Now that we have our tools, let's begin. For safety, we will want to engage both e-stops on the bar feeder. There is an e-stop on the HMI and on the pendant. We recommend unplugging the bar feeder as an extra safety measure. We will also want to pull the airline out of the bar feeder. Our first step is to jog the bar pusher towards the nose of the machine. We want to use our hand crank and bring the bar and pre-feed pusher past the gripper. If air pressure was in the machine, we will need to slide the support strap towards the home end of the machine. This will give us access to opening up the top guide channel assembly. Whenever air is applied to the machine, the support shaft and top guide channel assembly is engaged and will prevent us from being able to manually open the guide channel. For safety precaution, we will take a 2x4 and lodge it in between the top and bottom guide channel supports towards the nose end. To remove the bar pusher, we want to use our hand crank and bring the bar flag to the opening of the chain guard. We can then take out the bar pusher. We will then bring the pre-feed flag to the opening of the chain guard. If the handle gets jammed when trying to bring the pre-feed pusher forward, take the handle out and place it between the pre-feed mechanism and the air cylinder and wedge the OAM block towards the nose position of the machine. We will use a 3mm Allen wrench to remove the pre-feed flag. The flathead bolts have Loctite on them. If they get stripped by the Allen wrench, we can take a soldering iron, a heat gun, or a punch tool and break it loose. Now that we have our pushers out, we can take out the hanger support. If we are unable to break the flathead bolts loose, we can do the same process as we did before on the pre-feed flag. Before we start removing the guide channels, we will want to put a 2x4 between the channels on the home side of the bar feeder. Starting at the nose end first on the top channels, we will use our 10mm Allen wrench and rotate counterclockwise on all three sockets. If the channel is stuck, we can use the Allen wrench and wiggle each socket out of the batons. We will then remove the bottle channels with the same process we just did. Before we start removing the pre-pusher channels, we will need to use two blocks of wood to wedge the empty channel frame for safety. We can start removing the top guy channels like the process we've been doing before. After we have removed the channels, we will take our 5mm Allen wrench and remove the pre-feed channel. If we can't get the flathead bolts out, we can use a punch tool and a hammer to break it loose. Put them in a safe location so they won't get lost. And that completes our tutorial on removing the guide channel set on the Patriot 338. Thank you and have a nice day.